the number of commercial fishermen here in Waukegan went from over a dozen down to a handful. And then as of the, the early to mid 90s, just the one in, uh, in Atkinson Fishery. You can see as the economy changed down here at the harbor front, it changed for Waukegan and changed for the local economy in general. It's been fascinating to watch that change over the many decades that, I, that I've been here. Commercial fishing as we know it began uh, from the day European settlement started in the Great Lakes region. What happened is that as the 1800s um, plotted along, you went from, in the early part of the 1800s, small-scale fishing operations to large-scale operations that were borderline industrial. And um, the fishery uh, was uh, intensely harvested. It uh, came right up the ramp uh, that we're seeing right now, a little bit different than what's configured today. Big tubs of perch and uh, whitefish, lake trout, and chubs coming in. As time progressed, the limits of what could actually be fished were tightened. And then ultimately, perch was so minimal, along with chubs, that it wasn't viable. So we had about anywhere from uh, 16 to 55 commercial fishers, um, and that would have been from like 1946 to 1974. And then uh, the department implemented a limited entry commercial fishery and dropped it down to three. They held a lottery and then the top three were picked and then we kept that list going so if somebody dropped out, a new fishery business would be contacted and they could come back in. That really struck the heartstrings of so many people in the state, uh, specifically in the city, because all of those people were hoping to get one of the licenses. There were a lot of people who were put out of business. Seven billion dollars is the, uh, the best number we have right now for the value, the economic impact of Great Lakes fisheries. The big majority of that is sport fishing. Um, all the money that's spent on boats and bait and lures and all that. Those groups were not supportive of commercial fishing. Not everybody started out being, you know, charter fishermen or commercial fishermen. Believe it or not, before my dad was a fisherman, he was a, a race boat builder for Outboard Marine Corporation. So as the fishing really waned, they kind of fell back on those, you know, those professions. Waukegan today is a much different place than it was, you know, back in the 80s and 90s. Unfortunately, the commercial fishermen being the, the vast minority ultimately didn't have the, the money or the political influence to survive, right? And subsequently, you know, they, they went out of business. In the, in the late 90s, specifically 1997, my dad received a call from the Illinois DNR at the time. And, and they informed us that they were cutting our quota dramatically back. So my dad pivoted and moved and, and focused mostly on the, on the charter fishing. And so that's really what sustained us for many years. For us, uh, early on, was to abandon the commercial fishing side of it and focus on the restaurant. So that's what's still here today, is that decision that was made a long time ago to get out of commercial fishing and put the emphasis on the restaurant business. They adapt to what is out there and what's thriving and what's not. That's the, um, the nature of the beast with commercial fishing. There are operations that might set up a, um, a restaurant or a shop um, that's mainly supplied by their own uh, commercial fishing vessels. So you're seeing some adaptation as well. Now it's never gonna replace the, um, the larger scales and um, the restaurant markets and the export of, of very wholesome Great Lakes fish, but you do see some that are adapting as well to local markets. I think there's room for everybody to partake in the fisheries in these big lakes. You know, lake trout were an important commercial species in the 60 years of stocking, and now they're finally starting to recruit naturally. So we'll see, we'll just have to see where it goes in the future. There's something very fulfilling about commercial fishing and it's a tight-knit family as well. You know, once, once you get it in your DNA and your blood, you don't want to stop because it is, it is quite fulfilling. You know, my dad made very clear that 
you know, keep, keep the boat, keep the equipment and everything else because eventually the lake is going to come back and it'll come back to the point where it will support a commercial fishery again. So you would, you would return to commercial fishing? In a heartbeat. Oh yeah, this, you know, as I shared earlier, there's, there's nothing like fishing on Lake Michigan. It's, it's a, it's a passion.